The hour of great mercy. Together, you, you expired, expired Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born on the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. 
he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood so and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy 
mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Mortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Mortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Mortal One. Let us pray. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless, and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to do a holy will which is his love and mercy itself. <clears throat> a prayer to divine mercy. O greatly merciful God, infinite goodness, today all mankind calls out from the abyss of his misery to your mercy, to your compassion, O God. And it is this, this mighty voice of misery that it cries out, Gracious God, do not reject the prayer of this earth exiles. O Lord, goodness beyond our understanding, who are acquainted with our misery, true and true, and know that by our own power we cannot ascend to you. We implore you, anticipate us with your grace, and keep on increasing your mercy in us, that we may faithfully do your holy will all through our life and at death's hour. Let the omnipotence of your mercy shield us from the darts of our salvation enemies, that we may with confidence as your children await your final coming that day known to you alone. And we expect to obtain everything promised us by Jesus, in spite of all our wretchedness. For Jesus is our hope, through his merciful heart, as through an open gate, we pass through to heaven. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Send Faustina. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
eternal God of mercy and compassion, look kindly upon your people. Give us comfort when we despair. Be our Savior, Lord. You are my dwelling place, my spirit resting. This is Daily Reflections on Divine Mercy from My Catholic Life. Today's reflection is entitled, The Sweetness of Encountering Jesus. Have you encountered the sweetness of Jesus? He, with the Father and the Holy Spirit, come to you in the secret depths of your soul. There, in this hidden place, They desire to communicate with you. Their communication is beyond words and concepts. It's a communication of profound love that leaves the soul at peace and with a delight of the greatest sweetness. Their encounter with you is not an emotion. It's a spiritual union. How deep is your relationship with Jesus, the Father, and the Holy Spirit? Is it something more intellectual? Is it based only on the fact that you believe in them for the most part? Or is it something that goes much deeper? The goal must be to come to know God in a real and tangible way. But that knowledge of Him must also be personal. It must become a relationship that is lived and that sustains you in all things. If the Blessed Trinity lives within you, and if you allow yourself to embrace that relationship wholeheartedly, then you will discover an inner sweetness that overwhelms any suffering or hardship you endure. The sweetness of that love will carry you day in, and day out to the glories of heaven. Let us pray. Lord, I long to know you, to love you, and to become one with you. I desire to have you live within my soul, refreshing me with the sweetness of your presence. 
Take my life, sweet Jesus, and unite me with your perfect heart of love. Jesus, I trust in you.